What? You haven't subscribed to the story, Painter. All you have to do is hit the subscribe button. While you're at it, like the video, comment below, and check out the merch in the description. Have a good day and enjoy the video. All right, follow me, Emma. I just have to lock <laughs> up everything. Lock up from what? There's nothing out there. Sure. It's empty. That's what a lot of us thought, and we got attacked multiple times. <laughs> Sounds like a you problem. Sounds like there's, you know, horrible people. Yeah, there's quite a few. I mean, you're one of them. Thanks. <laughs> all right, and that's locked up there. All right, it's all locked up. I think this seems contradictory. You know, the windows and set. It wasn't our fault, though. I guess, but it was easy enough to slip in. Cool. <laughs> Is everyone? Cause yeah, I got everything locked up. We're all good there. Oh, friend bear. Hello. Friend bear, balloon boy. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Where's Chadwick? Sorry, I'm late. Oh, there he is. Mm. Okay. <laughs> uh, could you accompany me real quick? Yep. We have uh, uh, sure a lot to talk about. Ooh, uh, ominous. What's thing? Oh boy. Ominous. It might have to do with you, Emma. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm flooded. Sure. <laughs> hello, everyone. Mm. Oh, hello. Hi. Hey, Josh. Do you think I could borrow you all for a few minutes? Uh, uh of course. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. It will be interesting, to say the least. <laughs> okay. How do I go about this? Um, so let's say that I might have found the key in order to get out of this place. That's great. That's good news. That's, that's very good news. Uh, um, yeah. The problem is, is that the key is this person right here. <laughs> oh, right. Uh, uh, and they're not exactly the most cooperative, as I remember. <laughs> Would you be the most cooperative with the person who led you to your murder? I don't think so. Uh huh. <laughs> Unfortunately, this is a situation that. Well, Fred Barry, remember when you asked me that if there's anything else that I want to talk about when you tried figuring all that stuff out? Yeah, I'm guessing that's about that. Well, there was something I... I feel like my own mind didn't want me to remember. Not see. And I believe you all deserve to know at this point. Um, during my first pizzeria, um, Emma was one of our security guards. Um, and she was also someone I very much cared about. Oh, now you say that. Now that it's too late? Regardless, there is a horrible situation with this one animatronic called Ennard posing as Fred Bear, <laughs> resulting in Emma unfortunately passing away. Oh. In that pizzeria, there was a machine that was called the Remnant Extractor, which allowed you to basically put a soul into something that was non-living. Due to sheer ignorance and desperation. Stupidity. Desperation. <laughs> I put Emma in, hoping I could save her. And what resulted is a massive explosion, and in the long run, a lot of people got hurt. Oh. Mm. It's something I see. haven't wanted to remember. And uh, that's horrible. I <laughs> completely understand if any of you view me entirely different. And I know that 
me being a part of this pizzeria is not contributing to that either. Mm. I think we're past that at this point. Yeah. I think... I think we've known each other long enough to know that what's in the past is in the past. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But the situation still remains the same as that. Well, I made a huge discovery. The person standing across from me is not the M I knew, nor loved. <laughs> She's but a recycled memory and a figment of my imagination. Mm. In fact, this whole place, ah, as Molten described, saying that you know, it's not apparently real. Come to the great conclusion on why people see the world as normal and straw head, bell, bright eyes, and hunky, and myself see it as gray. Fred Bear, Balloon Boy, Chadwick. Yeah? You three are not real. Um, what? What? Yeah. <laughs> Memories. Yeah. Memories. Um. When I asked Emma about the last thing she remembers, I recall holding her hand before a massive incident that I presumed would have killed us both. And this Emma can't tell me anything about it. Because it didn't happen. <laughs> And seeing that n you cannot remember anything of the first pizzeria, and that you can't remember anything, and you uh. look exactly like the ex the person who was murdered in the first <laughs> pizzeria, whose name was Jeremiah. And this would prove it, since also Emma too sees the world as normal, and the rest of us see as gray. <laughs> With all this information no. in mind, it's... I don't know what to do. Josh, that... I... True. Okay, listen. I, I am real. I am! I'm real. I always have been. I don't know what kind of nonsense you're... You're saying out of your goddamn mouth, but I am real. I know that. Chanwick, if you were real, I mean, tell me what you did before this pizzeria. You probably can't remember a thing. <laughs> so blunt. <clears throat> Chadwick, Come Chadwick, on. Come on. Chadwick. Come on. <laughs> Oh my! Get up, bud. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's fine. Come on. I'll pull you it's up. It's fine. Apply. Come on. I'll pull you up. Come on. I'm fine. I'm fine. There's no blood. There's no blood. There's no blood. I should be broken. I'm not. In the end of this, I don't know how to get. I don't know how to move, move on from this. I don't know how to. I don't know what to do. I'm Maybe it's all just a manifestation of your guilt. Okay. Then what? Uh... I... You can... Try not... Pushing it down. I like uh, to. Uh, <laughs> listen, Maybe listen. If... 
I'm sorry, I'm sorry, Bryce. It's just, I, I get it's difficult, you know. You have something you wanted so desperately to forget, something in your past that's that right, horrendous, something that makes you entirely different, you know. You want to leave it behind, but you don't know how. And all you can think about is just pushing it away. But that doesn't leave anything but scars. And sometimes the best thing you can do is just accept it. You can't change it, so what's the point in fighting it? And just confront it. Just acknowledge it. And then what? Just accept it. Maybe you don't have to keep blaming yourself. Yeah. Just accept it and maybe the thing that needs to happen is you need to forgive yourself for all of it. It's not your fault. It's, it never has, and it never will be. I don't know if I can forgive myself. And why you not? don't deserve to. Small steps. Take a day, bit by bit, piece by piece, and just say no I will do better I accept it I will become better than who I am today because it's the responsible and healthy thing to do I've had to learn that as well so maybe maybe it'll be easier for you This entire time, I have been in pizza. It was nothing but a goddamn lie. And the amount of insults and cruelty that I get, or I got, from everyone here. It's, it's unbelievable. It's unbelievable. 
that everything I have endorsed, everything that I have been through, was nothing but a f***ing lie! I was treated like a f***ing dog! And not a one of you ever, ever had any faith in me! Treated like garbage. You hear me? I was treated like garbage. And this is the f***ing thing I get. This constant, this constant, constant punishment from every single one of you. And now, now that you mean to tell me that all of this, everything that I have witnessed everything that I have gone through was all a big joke because my life is nothing but a big joke so that must have how you remembered Jeremiah huh that's how you must have remembered him so you put all that onto me you put that all onto me I had no respect Chadwick what I didn't know you... who you were. But Jeremiah was someone that I blame myself for a long time. I wish I could have done something to prevent that whole thing. So why treat you like garbage? have no reason. Chadwick, it comes down to this. Without you, this pizzeria wouldn't be the same. I know I cracked jokes. I know I, I said some of that stuff. I'm sorry. <laughs> Even if this isn't real, what you experience is very much so. And I know it doesn't mean a lot after what you said, and you're right for some of the stuff I said. But I still view you as a good guy. And that doesn't change. And I wish the answer I had was different. Because once we get out of this place, I thought maybe we could have been even we could have been friends. And even though I know now, it sounds weird, but I still do consider you one. Well, now you can rot a second time, of course. God, this is... I am not having a great time right now. Um... Um... Well, uh... I don't know what to say. I... I don't know what to say. I'm just... Gonna... 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 After everything, it's been quite rough, hasn't it? It has. It's been years at this point. Same cat and mouse game, but like, what, three times? I take it that you remember now? Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, remember the first location, the second, and now obviously, well, here. A lot happened in those times, huh? Yeah, a lot. A lot of people got hurt. A 
lot of people are no longer with us. And it seems that even when we don't want it to, time continues to move. But despite everything, all the pain, all the hardship, everything, I, I don't hate you. You've been through a lot the same as me. A lot of things has happened that obviously shouldn't have. And we've all made mistakes. Really bad ones. But if it weren't for you or well, a lot of other people, I would probably still be in that old place just rotting away. In the vines and with the dirt. Same with Bonnie and Chica. As cheesy as it does sound, in a sense you made this old bear live again. <laughs> made me remember a lot of things. Just looking back on all the memories, at least I can remember in my final few moments to be patient. I will always consider you a friend, Joshua. Even if you didn't see me as one back then, or more of a nuisance. As I remember, a lot of people were quite annoying back then. <laughs> yeah. Um... Thank you for being there. Thank you for saving a lot of people's lives, making them more interesting. More things might have happened than should've, but... In the end, I like to think that you change people's lives for the better. Unlike the others, I'm gonna stay here and see you guys off. One last time, old friend. Of course, old friend. You have one last person to talk to. Emma? Hi, Josh. It's been a while. A very long time. Yeah. You know, it was never your fault. It hurts so much to see you blame yourself all the time. It didn't... It didn't do this to us. It didn't do this to anyone. You were a victim too. You just had to realize that. You... You were hurting. You still are. I'm very sorry I can't fix that for you, but I I can see them over there. They're gonna help you flourish. They're gonna stay with you. Be okay. Everything might not be alright all the time, but I'm glad I got to watch you grow, see you flourish. I never hated you. It was never your fault. I'm so glad you've realized that. I can't always be with you, physically, but I'll try to always cheer you on. Thank you for giving me a chance, you know. Thank you for never giving up. You tried so hard, and look where I got you. I mean, you've met so many new people. And yes, you've hurt a lot, and you're in pain, but you're gonna be okay. Now you can rest, or we can, and you can move on. I love you, Joshua Octor. I always will, and I always have. And I'm gonna watch you leave this place. Okay. <laughs> you three, four, have helped me tremendously. 
it it helps so much to know that there are still people that care in this place I had no idea where I was and when we get out of here I don't know where we are I don't know where we'll be but we're gonna find each other and if everyone out there is okay I'm gonna introduce you to them the real them thank you of course You're what are friends friend. for Josh So why don't we just take a look at this place one more time and you can open the door. Let's go. Okay. Fred Bear? Yeah. Let's go. <sighs>